Jeannie Ortega with the Christian Post. How are you? I love a true story. Yeah. And what a story at that. Yeah. So Chris, I'll start with you, the hero. The hero obviously is a very important part of the story and you're no stranger to heroes. You play Thor, you play a hero here, but it's not easy. It's not always easy to be the hero. Talk to us a little bit about that. What would you say to encourage others? Oh, I don't know. Um, I mean, there was a certain, certainly an added weight and responsibility, uh, you know, telling this story, uh, portraying these guys, um, having them on set with us as, you know, giving us advice and, and, and so on and having that wealth of knowledge at our fingertips. But, um, awesome. I, you know, there is a sort of unwavering sort of certainty with these guys and, and just a... Um, a belief that this is what they were put on the earth to do, you know, mm. and and um, I, I think you're either born with that or, or, or not in this sense, and um, you can sort of, you know, find some inner sort of confidence and, and belief and so on. But what was so impressive about these guys is there is no sort of massive ego or anything. It's just that this is this is this is their job, and um, you know, there's an unwavering sort of certainty that this is what they're gonna. They're yeah, gonna and that was super on. inspiring, you know. Yeah. Michael. Hey. First of all, Latino, love that. Okay, you know. <laughs> it's good to see, <laughs> you know to, see to see us represented in, yeah. in, on screen. So, um, <laughs> have That's a Latino all, connection here. Yeah, and any Spanish word we my have wife, to say. My, my, wife, my, wife, my wife's Spanish, guys. Yeah. Wife's Spanish, and she was so. also in the film. This is, from, this is always <laughs> interesting. It's like when a, another Latin person meets another Latin We're person. We're so proud. Like, hey, how's it going? Michael Peña, Michael Peña. Miguel Antonio Vega de la Peña. <laughs> really? pronounce that. Talk to us about family. I know Latinos were, were super family oriented and um, I thought that was a very uh, powerful theme in the film as you can see. The guys wanted to get back home to their families. You know, you Yeah I mean that's the reason that these guys go out and fight you know and because and this is the way that they contribute in, in to society you know and by keeping it safe you know they're, they're, they're guarding America and it's freedom mm -hmm. and one of those freedoms, what not every country does, is, is you know have the freedom of family and mm -hmm. you know and take care of their family and and be with their families. Um, uh, so you know it, it is it is a a thing that you know and they want to get back to just like anybody else, just want they want to get back to their families and uh, come home alive. Yeah. So Chris, um, this is the Christian Post. So we're very much about unity and love and and just. Uh, faith and, and that's what I saw a lot of in your character which was so inspiring he was just like we're coming out alive mm -hmm. right. all of us right. yeah. um, you know you recently you read the Christmas story for a Disney production and it was just it was awesome I caught mm -hmm. a little clip of it can you just talk a little bit about that and just even you know you see it throughout the film the underlying <clears throat> sense of faith and they're like you know mm -hmm. how do you get through and just talk to us about the importance mm -hmm. of faith I mean look at the world we live in yeah, um, well, you've got to have something to live for, you know, um, whether it be family or you know, religion or the community or friends or what have you, or your country. Um, and as Michael was talking about, you know, uh, the, the, the sort of, you know, if you're fighting not just for your country and the people and your immediate, you know, um, group, but also to get back for something. And I think in my character's instance, he. Uh, he wanted to see his his child. You know, the, the real life character, his child was being born while he was overseas, yeah. and so he wanted to get back for that. And um, and I think just you, you 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 know, if these guys start doubting their survival in, in this position, or yeah. you know, they're wavering on sort of what they can achieve, then I think it's sort of a snowball effect, and then it sort of starts to crumble. So it's a sort of constantly hang on to why you're doing this, what it's for your belief in you know what you can accomplish um that was pretty inspiring you know especially talking to the real life guys about it yeah there is always this really special element when when it comes to anyone that you read i mean especially as an actor i mean i get to read some really amazing stories about like you know someone who went to war and did something spectacular or something like even sports or maybe a, a you know civil rights activist or something yeah. like that and they always have <clears throat> this belief beyond themselves that they're able to have other people agree on and I think that's when you can really do something, uh, you know, special in this mm -hmm. life. Yeah. And it does take belief, you know, because of, you know, there's a quite a bit of drama going on in your head. But if you're able to really make it come yeah. true, I think that's when it's special. Yeah, and it was life and death in this situation. Yeah, for, uh, yeah, exactly. All right, guys, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you.